Russian forces struck residential buildings in the Ukrainian town of Mykolaivka, in the Donetsk region overnight on Sunday, causing major damage. A 52-year-old woman was injured in the strikes, which hit three multi-story residential buildings in a hospital, according to city authorities. Libov Marchenko, who was in one of the residential buildings, said she couldn't talk after seeing her apartment hit. I was sleeping at night, there was scream, I got up, the windows flew out, something flew past me, I thought it was a shell, I was shaken, the house was full of smoke, it all settled down, then I got up, I couldn't talk, I was in shock, she told the Associated Press. The strikes come as Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky visits the US. He will speak at the UN General Assembly annual gathering in New York on Tuesday and Wednesday and then travel to Washington for talks on Thursday with US President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris, as he seeks to shore up support for Ukraine. Ночью спала, раздался грохот, я встала, викна вылетели, что-то пролетело мимо меня, я думала, что это снаряд, меня струсило, дыму полна хата, все это улеглось, тогда я встала, балакать не могу. И по у меня шок пока я не напилась от этих успокоительных цик. Не полежала, не дійшла, я балакать не мала. The search for missing people in southern Beirut following an Israeli strike that killed a top Hezbollah military official continued for a third day on Sunday. The health ministry reported that the death toll has risen to 45, with some remains sent for testing to identify additional victims. Ali Muhammad, a local official and engineer, said 15 bodies remain to be recovered. Meanwhile, the local municipality brought in a crane as they try to retrieve people's belongings from the damaged buildings. Lebanon's Hezbollah launched over 100 rockets early Sunday across a wider and deeper area of northern Israel, with some landing near the city of Haifa, as the sides appeared to be spiraling toward all-out war following months of escalating tensions. The rocket barrage overnight sent thousands of people scrambling into shelters. A Russian missile barrage on the Ukrainian city of Kharkiv late on Saturday has left 18 people injured, including four children, according to regional authorities. There were several strikes on the city of Kharkiv with guided bombs. One hit in front of a residential high-rise building. Currently, about 60 people have been evacuated from the area, Kharkiv Governor Ola Sinihubov said from the scene of the strike. Two people remain in critical condition the regional military administration said in a statement. The strikes were carried out using Russian military aircraft delivering FAB-250 guided missiles that struck northern districts of the city proper as well as several locations in the surrounding suburbs. Two standalone houses outside the city limits caught fire but resulted in no injuries, the administration said. Scores of vehicles and other structures were damaged in the aftermath of the strikes as well, authorities added. عم تمسح هذه السبيل كوالية البارحة تمسح بالنهار 11 جسمنا وبالليل 6 جسمنا هلأ متوقع المتوقع أن يكون حوالي 15 جسمنا بعد المتوقع